Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to your to travel blog, Jamie. It is cruise day or should I say voyage day? Yes, that's right. Today and for the remainder of this week, I am finally ticking off one of my bucket list experiences, a transatlantic voyage on board Cunard's Queen Mary 2 from Southampton all the way to New York. I cannot believe it. And you gorgeous lot are coming with me for the duration of this whole transatlantic voyage and indeed my time in New York. Are you ready for this? I don't think I am. I am too excited about this one. I really am. A little bit of weed just came out. Let's do this. A full vlog of the embarkation process is already available on my channel. For now, here are those highlights. Cunard's Queen Mary 2 is the world's only transatlantic ocean liner. It's hard to believe she's already been voyaging for 20 years. As an ocean liner, she was built to withstand the unpredictable nature of the Atlantic Ocean. My voyage on Queen Mary 2 to New York is scheduled to take six nights. Just the one case for me, folks, and my hand luggage. Um, after we've crossed the Atlantic and I've had my time in New York, I'm flying back. So I need to make sure this is not heavier than 23 kilograms, ready for my Virgin Atlantic flight home. And welcome to the Queen Elizabeth II cruise terminal. And for the first time ever, I forgot my luggage labels. But there's always a member of staff at the luggage pod ready to write one out for you. When you're ready, drop off your luggage at the appropriate luggage pod. The next time you see your bags will be outside your cabin. For a transatlantic check-in from the UK, you'll need your passport, boarding pass, which you can print off at home, and for UK residents, proof of an ESTA to enter the USA. Travel insurance must include cruise cover, although I wasn't asked for a copy of this at check-in. To save time, you can actually complete much of the check-in process online using your cruise personalizer. After you've presented yourself at the check-in desk, you'll be deemed okay to board. Next, you'll pass through security before the zigzag and air bridge to board the ship. You simply use your boarding pass to access the ship. And we made it. Welcome to the grand lobby. So this is where I've just embarked the ship. Oh, I so want to ring that bell. If Matthew were here, what would he say? Your Majesty? All right, I'm going to drop my stuff off in my cabin and look, one, two, three, four stairways. I like it. I need to go to deck six. You'll never believe it. I'm going inside again. Um, I imagine this is our cruise key card. Here I am, and here we go. My home for the next six nights before arriving into New York. Oh, please don't be too tiny and claustrophobic, please. I got my eyes shut. What's it like? Listen, my darlings, you know, you absolutely know, I'm gonna do a full cabin slash stateroom tour and review later. But first impressions are few, uh, for a standard inside cabin, I think it's a good space. I do quite like the finish on this. And oh, look how regal this throw is. Oh, I'm gonna be okay, aren't I? I know I'm. Oh, look, the storage space above the bed as well. I like that. I like the fact there is a table and chair there. I say chair, poor Jamie, all on his own, like a lemon. There's ample storage space here, folks. There really is. Loads of drawers. It looks like we've almost got four or three and a half wardrobe spaces. No, 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 no. Arctic, please. Thank you very much. Oh, and she, oh, I won't do that yet. It's not time for that yet. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Uh, I like the tiles. You're going to be very upset there's a clingy curtain, but the size of the shower, uh, two and a half people in there, so not bad at all. Oh, I see Penn Halligan products. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Please, thank goodness for a waffle gown and slippers. Very happy Initially, about that. I was just a tad worried about doing a transatlantic in an inside cabin, but actually, this is a good space. It's definitely very comfortable. Oodles of storage space, uh, a few nice little luxuries here and there, and the AC is working Mwah! beautifully. I'm gonna be fine, aren't I? Aren't I? Alrighty, before I head out, explore the ship and just chill my ass off. <laughs> That's not very Cunard like, is it? I'm gonna do a few little jobs. It's true, I know, right? I'm on holiday and I'm gonna do some jobs. Well, first of all, Cunard have a kind of app, it's more a web page called My 
voyage. It's where you can make dining reservations, book excursions, you know, that kind of jazz. Don't forget, when you board, you can connect to the My Voyage webpage. You won't need to purchase Wi-Fi in order to use this. You'll be prompted to enter a few details and then you can access all sorts of information about onboard dining, your account, the spa, menus, daily program, internet access, and more. There's even a calendar that will show you all your purchases and reservations for each day of your voyage. You can also make dining reservations both at speciality dining venues and the main dining room. If you're not sure whether to purchase Wi-Fi, well, you can try out the complimentary one hour package. I purchased the Essential Wi-Fi package, which worked brilliantly for the duration of my voyage. As a member of the Gold Loyalty Tier Scheme, I also received a discount on this package, so I only paid $62 in total for the whole week, which I think is great value. Also available is a 24-hour package. Next job is muster or safety drill. It's a simple process on QNOD. Simply watch the safety drill on the television in your cabin and then zap in at your muster station using your cruise key card. Okay, let's find this muster station. Incidentally, this is a proper prom deck. Look at these lounges. Let's just hope we have decent weather on the way over. Come on, let's try out a QNOD lounger. Oh, very nice, my darlings, very nice. Really good news for me, my muster assembly is essentially the buffet. Yes, muster and eat, I love it. Well, this is King's Court and I'm used to a buffet being chockers on the first day, on embarkation day. I can cope with this, definitely. I'll be using this handy food rating guide to rate every plate on board Queen Mary 2 during my transatlantic voyage. We're at a few stir fried noodles for me, some root veg, some beans. Look what I found. Okay, I couldn't resist. I put the thermal suite the whole week ahead. <laughs> Come and go as you please from 7.30 a.m. I will do just that, thank you. Prior to your voyage, you can book a two hour slot using your cruise personalizer. However, once on board, as you can see, you can purchase a day pass or a pass for the entire voyage. I'll show you the full thermal suite experience later in this vlog. Oh, after a bit of a stressful check-in and security check, Things are now looking up, quite literally. I'm loving this observation deck at the very front of the ship. Oh, I do like a bit of info. What about you? Look, Commodore's cufflinks, otherwise known as spare propeller blades. All right, they are big. I don't feel worthy. I don't feel worthy. All righty, we are scheduled to set sail at 6 p.m. I can't believe we're literally sailing to America. It's just unfathomable to me. Oh, we got a party, nearly, nearly a party. So this is the aft, plunge pool, big pool, hot tub, nice looking lounges, towels on each one. I like it. Yay, another pool, hurrah. Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, luggage has arrived. Let's get unpacking right away. And done. I'll see you in six days. Under the bed you go. Yes, yes, I've got a dinner jacket and all sorts of posh stuff, don't you worry. And the Maldives in a reed diffuser. I kid you not, it's all in there. I mean, the Maldives are tiny little islands, so they fit. And by my reckoning, I should be able to head out to the open deck from deck six as well, let's see. Oh yes. Oh, this is handy, isn't it? Is that time, folks? It definitely is. Oh, <laughs> The bits and bobs are out. Right, so we got this. It is heated, yes. Straight in. Oh, that's great. Happy cruise day. I mean, voyage days. Oh my God, the Cunard is gonna come for me with pitchforks and everything, aren't they? If I say the word cruise again. God, imagine if I said boat. Not a bad sized pool, actually, for an aft pool. NCL, have a great time. And it's finally our turn. <laughs> Release the Kraken, I mean the lines. Release the lines, please, mister. Thank you. Oh my God, here we go. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful, beautiful evening and sail away. I only cried a little bit, just a tiny bit. Breathe. 
Oh my goodness, I've had a turn down. I'm so used to doing my own turn downs on a number of cruise lines. But behold, it has been done for me. What have we got here? Tomorrow's daily program, breakfast in bed, holy macaroni and a little chocolate. Oh, he's taking me comfy, Soutler. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. It's been smoothed down beautifully. Alrighty, on the television, we've got the live bridge cam, so I know exactly what's going on ahead. Oh no, this is gonna be interesting. The ship's clocks will be set back by one hour uh, early tomorrow morning. And I think that's gonna happen pretty much every day of this uh, voyage. That's gonna be so weird. Will it mean no jet lag on arrival into New York? I can't wait to find out. I hope no jet lag. All right, let's test out a Cunard Queen Mary 2 shower. Are you ready? Oh, that's actually quite power. Oh, oh, this is a good one. Yes, thank you, Cunard. Alrighty, dress code tonight is smart attire, which means for gentlemen that you need a collared shirt, such as this one. I look like I'm going to work, don't I? Uh, trousers, I mean, that's always a benefit, <laughs> and shoes. Now then, the traditionalists, the Cunarders, will tell you you should be wearing a jacket and maybe a tie as well on smart attire night. That is not the dress code. That's what people think you should wear because they're trying to keep up appearances and standards. Me, I'm obviously lowering the standards. Sorry, not sorry. Look, I've got evidence of it. It's on the bloody screen. And ladies, uh, skirt, stylish trousers or a dress, all right? Doesn't say you have to wear anything on top, does it? Oh, no, it does say top. <laughs> oh, and by the way, each cabin on board Cunard comes with half a bottle of sparkly. That's very nice. Uh, I've brought on my own wine. Uh, each adult boarding is allowed to bring on a bottle of wine or sparkles uh, up to 750 mils. It's up to you if you do it. In case you want to see the finished outfit, this will doodle do for the gents. Da 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 da. I'm loving it. It's the best you're going to get from me. Alrighty, I'm going to start my evening at the chart room, which I think is a beautiful bar, and I'm hoping to meet two of my patrons here. Now, this is a bar, and we've even got a harpist. <laughs> How awesome. It feels so relaxed in here. I thought it was gonna be heaving. Pretty much in heaven. I think I see them. <laughs> there they are. Cheers, lady. Oh. oh. So when you sail Cunard, when you order a drink, look, you get nibbles. Oh, I haven't had that for so long on a cruise. Okay, I know you want to find out about prices. You want to find out about gratuities, tips. Give me a chance, okay? I'm just going to chillax my ass off tonight. I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. Is that okay? Do you mind? Cheers. Well, chart bar, I'll see you later. You are an absolute delight. Oh, look, warm up. Right, we're at the Britannia restaurant. My good friends, Catherine and Melissa, have reserved a table. To eat in the main dining room for Britannia guests, you can opt either Freedom Dining or Fixed Dining in advance of your cruise. For Freedom Dining, either rock up and wait in line for a table, join a virtual line using the My Voyage webpage, or reserve a time slot on the day using the My Voyage webpage. Main dining all the way. Okay, for now. Plenty of food options here actually, but we're starting off with the main dining room. Right. Place your bets. What am I gonna order? This looks different. <laughs> Read that as, my goodness me, I'm not sure what to have. Oh, hang on, I see the word spiced. I'm honing in on the word spiced. Thank goodness for a bread service. Okay, so I have roasted carrot in a very strange twist of events, served with uh, ginger, and I haven't got a clue what the rest of it is. Well, I love a brothy soup, don't I? This is a consomme, a beef consomme, which has barley and julienne <laughs> vegetables. Sorry, don't mean to laugh. Vegetables. I have the spiced cauliflower petibier. That's pastry to you and I. Uh, the cheesecake, which looks massive in this shop, but even my fingers bigger than this cheesecake. And my fingers tiny. And these are the petit four, so you've got marshmallow meringue. Okay, I know you want to have a quick peek at how much uh, a regular glass of wine is going to cost you here. So it was um, $11 and then they add the service charge 
$1.65, so $12.65 in total. This Britannia dining room is multi-tiered, look folks. I think it's great. Who needs the grills? Okay, we don't know how this champagne bar works. It's like, there's no bar, there's no champagne, but the seating area is beautiful. Look at the colors. Oh, it's glassy and lovely and lovely and glassy. It is so easy to get a seat here. Well, the champagne bar sells just that, champagne. However, you can also order from the menu from the chart room. There's a really interesting range of cocktails sold here for about $13.50. The chart room also offers a wide range of spirits, both in single and double measures. More recently, I've sailed with cruise lines who, unfortunately, seem to have limited the range of alcoholic beverages. So sailing with Cunard was a real treat for me. If you don't see your favorite tipple on a menu, just ask a member of staff. Chances are they might well have it. It's also worth mentioning that each bar has its own unique cocktail menu, so there's plenty of choice on board. You'll find a range of wine types on board from biodynamic, organic, vegetarian, and vegan. There's also a range of alcohol-free and low alcohol beverages and low or zero sugar beverages. I'm gonna go with a Calm Seas. Now then, Melissa is quite a posh one, actually. Posh bird from Ohio. Right. She's got her champagne. <laughs> Definitely a posh bird. Definitely. Well, cheers to your champagne. You cheers don't normally drink much either, do you? I don't. No, that must... Notes of honey? Notes of honey. That you're getting really strong here? Absolutely. Yeah. I taste every bit of it. And look, I love this. Just gorgeous. <laughs> well, this is like a little chilled glass of ginger heaven. Would you like to explain to everyone how you take such wonderful pictures? Oh, <laughs> she takes the worst pictures. I take fantastic pictures. You just set up a, a picture for about 10 hours and it was awful. It was art is what it was. It was art, yeah. I said I wasn't gonna drink much tonight and I'm still going. This is delicious, it really is. Loving the ginger in that. Now, one thing that surprised me about Queen Mary 2 so far is that even though, by all accounts, uh, all cabins are taken on this particular cruise, there's so much space. There's always somewhere to sit at the moment. So I am loving that. You know I hate not being able to sit down, don't you, in a bar? Hate it and waiting and age to get served. Not the case so far. Cheers to that. Well, it will come as no surprise to you. I am not a fan of caviar, but if you are, here are some of the prices you can expect to pay. It's time to dance. It's the, the onboard nightclub. Bam, 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 ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Okay, it is midnight. Uh, we are now searching far and wide, wide and far for late night snacks. I can hear the clippity clappity clutter of plates and cutlery straight over here. We made it to late night snacks, but do they serve Horlicks? Because my American friends have never had it, ever. Well, as far as late night snacks go, I'd say there's quite a good range of items here. And over here, we've got low sugar, gluten-free and vegan items. Damn, there's an ice cream machine here as well. Are you the kind of person who'll have it in a bowl or on a cone? Sandwiches, rolls and bagels. We've got veggies, polenta. We've got meatball, pasta, salmon, asparagus and pumpkin risotto. Why have 100 meals on a cruise ship when you can have 105? We're traveling, traveling, traveling. We're traveling like that. Oh God, which way is my cabin? Very confused. It's like a ghost ship tonight, honestly. I think maybe everyone's tired with their travel day and embarkation day. Comfies are now on, and look at these bad boys. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that you can get a proper hot breakfast and hot drinks delivered in the morning without having to pay any extra. I am in love with this idea. I hope it's a good one. Hang this outside your stateroom on your doorknob by 1am. 
<laughs> I don't know why that made me giggle. And simply choose your time slot and indicate the number of portions required. Right, we've got all our juices, hot beverage, thank God. Oh, something special. Oh, okay, we're going to pay a little bit extra for those. Cereal bowls. The onboard bakery. Oh, some of this sounds great. Fresh fruit, yogurt. Well, you know me, my loves. I am so into my health. <gasps> Look, the hot breakfast items. Oh, my God. And it says guest one, guest two. Could I be two people? I think I could. What the hell am I going to have? What would you have? Don't let me down, Cunard. Oh, we'll have a little bit of that as well, won't we, my darling Z? Oh, yeah. In the little slot it goes. And now we need to put the hour back. <laughs> Andrew and Turndown, we've had a daily program delivered. Let's see what we're going to get up to tomorrow. Mischief. A little dab of the lavender to help me sleep. Mm -hmm. well, after a slow and pretty painful embarkation process today, um, Queen Mary 2 has already won me over. What a beautiful ship. Elegant as well. Really enjoying the lounges and the bars on board with a great range of beverage. Uh, great cocktail I had today. Ooh, that ginger one. Mmm, bloody handsome. Uh, I've had good food so far not very good not excellent it's good let's see how the rest of the week pans out and my goodness me those open decks and the pools ah yeah i think this is going to be awesome i really do anyway time for betty pools no booing in bed i love you and you and you oh my god you i flipping love you so much i don't really love you Good night for now, and I'll see you tomorrow for a whole new day. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. Well, one of the benefits of an inside cabin is how dark it is. I slept like a baby. Yeah, very quiet location, fabulous night's sleep. The only problem with an inside cabin is getting up. It's so dark and you've got to put the light on and it is an assault on my senses. Anyway, let's get freshened up. I think I've got a breakfast delivery coming soon. Yay. Oh, I've just taken a shower. Out I come and look what's arrived. It's breakfast time. Alrighty, everything has arrived. So that's awesome. I've got two eggs over easy. A few beans, mushrooms, tomato, hash brown, whole meal toast. And thank God for this. Life Force. Thank you, Cunard gods and goddesses. There's no doubt about it. I'd rather be in this out on my balcony, looking at the ocean, rather than looking at the ocean via the bridge cam. However, I'm very happy in here. An awesome breakfast. I've got a feeling I'm going to start most of my mornings like this. It's such a relaxed way to start a day at sea. It really is. And even if you just had, I don't know, a coffee or tea delivered and maybe a pastry and then go out for your breakfast it's just such a leisurely pace you know what time it is now it's 10 a.m i haven't actually left my cabin yet i promise you i'm gonna get out and about and explore i absolutely am should we do that now come on let's do that together new t-shirt incoming thank you so much to one of my patrons for this Damn right I'm going to wear this today. I want everyone to know it's iced coffee all the way. And don't forget, you can find out what's taking place on board Queen Mary 2 using the paper copy of your daily program delivered to your cabin each evening during turndown or by accessing My Voyage. And I've already been asked repeatedly online whether I think there are enough activities taking place during the day for a transatlantic cruise. Some of you are worried about getting bored. Well, here's a full look at today's activities. What do you think? Is there enough to keep you occupied? I think it's fair to say that Cunard are also very well known for their guest speakers on board. You can find out all about them under Cunard Insights on your daily program. One of the other very useful things about the daily program is that you'll also be able to see all the opening and closing times of restaurants, bars, lounges and the theatre. You'll also find the hours for a wider range of facilities such as shops and medical centre. And I'm ready. 
So this might seem a bit odd, but the first thing I need to do is deliver these two postcards to some friends on board. I'm nice like that. There you go, ladies. Hope you find them. Welcome to the front of deck three, and this is very intriguing. So on the walls here, uh, lining this corridor, they've got pictures of all the stars who've sailed with Cunard over the years. What a fabulous idea. And continuing along deck three, some nooks and crannies to sit and relax. Interestingly, deck three is divided into lower and upper. Didn't know that. Accessibility in mind here. The shops on deck three already very popular, of course. I can't help but look, I'm going in. Now then, who was I talking to recently? I said I've never worn braces and I'm wondering whether to actually take the plunge and try them out. Oh my goodness, a bow tie with sharks. I'm all over that. Well, there's definitely plenty of options and choices here, folks. Would it be frowned upon if I did a Pringle song on Cunard? Hmm, some awesome products here. Not forgetting all those essential medicines. You've got sun cream, toiletries. There's a first time for everything. I'm getting them, $19. I think that's quite good value. God knows what it's gonna look like on me tonight. Hi, I'm Elaine. I'm Graham. And we're from Derbyshire. And they accosted me whilst I was buying my braces. You said you haven't seen anyone in braces for a long time. Oh, I haven't yet. Well, you're going to see me now. Thank you so much for coming to say hello and have a great voyage. Enjoy your cruise. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, this is my real weakness. Oh, no. Oh, no. Joe Malone, one of my favourites. Oh, I found Sir Samuel's coffee shop. I'm ready for this. All right, so you can get your regular coffees and teas in the King's Court Buffet. Here, you're gonna be charged, but my goodness me, have you seen this? Have you? One of the great things about Sir Samuel's is there are pastries and muffins available at breakfast time, sandwiches at lunch, there's patisserie as well. It's fabulous. All your teas, your hot chocolate, I bet that is indulgent. What a gorgeous venue. I can see myself spending a lot of time in here. I love the fact that it's easy to get a seat as well. Holy macaroni, folks. Look at this. My iced latte has been served on a silver tray. I've got biscuits with it and some ice water. Now, this is definitely the flipping life. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Oh, yeah, that is a good one. Strong AF, cold AF, gorgeous. Well, it's certainly a great start to the day. But don't you worry, because my heart is warm and full of light. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? <laughs> wow, that was loud. <laughs> my poor tinnitus. Capitan has said we are entering an area of low pressure, although to the south of that, and can expect sea state of three meter swells, which is nothing for a ship like this. Um, and in 24 hours time, we'll be entering an area of high pressure. So we're hoping for sunnier skies and certainly calm seas for the foreseeable. The question is, can I wait 24 hours? Well, I have to. Can you wait? Oh, you're not even here. I need to show you this image. Can you see all of the different Cunard ships? Well, when you zoom out, look at this. That is so cool. I might buy a piece to take home. Okay, with the weather outside being a little bit gloomy, I'm gonna get my cabin tour and review filmed and completed right now. Less to do later in the week when hopefully it's sunnier out and about, isn't it? Mm-hmm, let's do this. Alrighty, it's lunchtime. Oh, oh, there's no Matthew to push. It's the world famous Golden Lion Pub on board Queen Mary 2. Well, it looks traditional to me, folks. The only thing that's different, I would say, are the sea views. And whilst it's a small menu, the food here is included in your cruise fare, which I think is great. What to have? What would you have? Oh my goodness, my chicken tikka masala with bhaji, rice, raita, naan, and popdom smells amazeballs. It really does. Wow, what can I say? That curry is 
absolutely delicious and it really does have fire very tasty indeed these onion bhaji are absolutely gorgeous by the way really light very crispy winning it's early days but that's the best thing i've eaten on board so far my mouth is on fire folks it was awesome we've got serious bingo players in here we really have current situation and location oh my goodness this really does excite me <laughs> all right this is the pavilion pool and bar it has a retractable roof it's quite a dinky one but very nice perfectly acceptable little bar uh there's a stage over there as well so they must have some live music couple whirlpools i do like the lounges here as well folks that's my kind of lounger as we saw yesterday there are pool towels on all the lounges and poolside look at these little pyramids of gorgeous fluffy towelness and you know what that little green dot means on my cruise card hulk no unlimited access to the thermal suite that's where i'm heading now i need to get wet Alrighty, we have changing rooms here. There's also an assisted door. I like those. Good size changing room and no need for any money here because the lockers are electronic. Help yourself to a robe as you come in. Help yourself to towels. I want you to paint me like one of your French boys. There's an absolutely gorgeous hydro pool in here, folks. It's a really good size as well. This is officially the deepest hydro pool I've ever been in. I literally went right under just now thinking it was going to come up to my waist. I was wrong. So there's a middle section with all sorts of jets and whirlpool kind of things going on. These here are for your knots and your shoulders and your back. This is a curved kind of bench. So you lay here and your back and your bottom gets all the bubbles. Great to see a hoist here as well. Awesome. And we've got a hot tub up here in the corner overlooking the hydro pool. Ooh, that is one hot, hot tub. I mean, I know this place is big hot, but... Uh, that is so nice. All right, I'm up for this. I really am. So you can choose cold or warm. I'm going warm. Oh, Jesus. Give me a warning, I'm an old man. Give me a heart attack. Ooh, tickles, it tickles. <laughs> By the way, this bench, it's a hot bench. I mean, quite literally, it's warmed. Beautiful. Tell I like it. By the way, I stroke it. Loving this. Ice, ice, baby. Bam, 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 bam. Why am I doing this? Is this good for you? Is this actually good for you? Or is it going to give you a heart attack? It's going to give me a heart attack. Oh, herbal sauna. Wow. This looks like a torture device, doesn't it? Like a torture chamber or something. Oh, thank God we got water as well. I need this. Stay hydrated. But oh my God, that is a very excitable water. We've got lounges in here as well. I think I can get used to this. I feel 10 years younger, I really do. Already live music in the Corinthia Lounge. You are spoiling us. Right, channel 45 for all sorts of info about the journey and music. All right, it's gala night, and I'm going to make something of an effort. There's also a red and gold theme, but it's not just starting and ending with me bow tie, me dicky bow. Oh, no. Like, I haven't got a clue how to attach these braces, also known as suspenders in Australia and the US. I know. Look, it's like some kind of... Um, oh, I'm not even going to say what I think it looks like. <laughs> and Debbie Dozy. <laughs> My God. Are they supposed to cover your nipples? If this ain't good enough for the Cunadas, I don't know what is. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to know what on earth you should be wearing. Well, for gala night, it's dinner jacket, tuxedo, dark suit, regular tie, bow tie, uh, for gents, 
floor length dress, ball gown, cocktail dress, smart trouser suit or formal separates for ladies. But if you'd rather go smart attire and not take part in formal night, there are some venues that are still available to you. The King's Court, Golden Lion Pub, Casino, Corinthia Lounge and G32 Club. Now this is interesting. On some of the Facebook groups, people have been arguing that you're not allowed to wear jeans. Well, it clearly says here, you are allowed to wear jeans on a smart attire night. So there. All right, shall we do gala night together? Take me by the hand, come on. Let's do this. Alrighty, deck nine forward for the Commodore Club. Commodore! Sorry, Pirates of the Caribbean, can't help myself. Gorgeous venue. Oh, let's hope for another harpist, my fave. Very nice indeed, isn't it? Beautiful forward facing views as well. Oh, I like this table. Oh, uh, thank you. I love this glass. I wonder if anyone would notice if I took it with me. No, I'm, I'm not a kleptomaniac, I'm not. Cucumber infused water. I turn the water into wine. Cheers, my darlings. Mm, very nice, savvy blonde. Very grave views of the Atlantic from the Commodore Club, but the wine's warming my heart. Now then, I love that the cocktails in the Commodore Club are inspired by previous Cunard Commodores. What a lovely idea. I think these are of the most exclusive and expensive on board. Alrighty, we are heading to Speciality Dining at Bamboo this evening. Uh, there is a surcharge to eat here. It also looks like it's a section of the King's Court, so kind of like a pop-up restaurant. I'm here. Look at these ladies. How gorgeous are they? Gal or, or, is it girls? Sorry. Oh. Girls? I don't think it's girls no. anymore. <laughs> ladies of the night? I'm not sure I think it's ladies either. I think we're past girls. They're women. <laughs> Real women. Listen, Capitan has been very kind, look, for Gala Night. It's given us a free glass of bubbles each. How nice is that? Thank you, Capitan. We're toasting to sailing again. Absolutely. Oh my God, I love how you're sparkling in the background. Look at that. So it was a long time ago, I've actually reserved a table here. I think it was about $30 per person. So for that, you're gonna choose an appetizer, an entree. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna have, folks? And dessert as well. Oh, here come the appetizers. Way nice, thank you. So served bento box style, we have the tuna. Enoki take and vegetables, the short rib, chicken yakitori, and the shrimp. Just ask your server if you want to swap out any of your dishes. Alrighty, I've gone with the Malaysian chicken rice. Uh, it's got peanut sauce and I don't know what the rest of it is. It's okay, it's on the menu for you. I don't need to tell you, you've read it, haven't you? The sticky rice with mango was the real winner on this trio of desserts. Alrighty, Queen's room time. The thing is, I don't know how to ballroom. Wow, this is an event, isn't it? It really is. Oh, they're up again. I thought that was water. That's actually my vodka. Look at the size of it. There's not enough room for the mixer. Oh look, this is so cute! Oh, I love it! Go on ladies, I mean I'm just here on my own. I've got no one to dance with, you know? For me! Yeah, hashtag for Jamie. Uh -oh. I can do this bit. Uh -oh. I'm kind of into this, you know, on this gala night. It's G32 time. Holy hell, folks! Another vodka for the road, why not, eh? Please, can you pray for me? Pray for Jamie, new hashtag, pray for Jamie. Ooh. That is strong AF. In fact, my last drink was strong AF as well. 
went on Cunard. All right, it's time to sniff out those late night snacks. Tonight we have got Thai chicken curry, rice, veggie noodles, sweet and sour fish, and randomly orange and cranberry braised red cabbage. And like last night, we've got a good selection of rolls and sandwiches here, plus a focaccia with roast turkey, edam, cranberry, orange, sage, and onion. Who knew? We've got salad items over here. Ham and pasta salad, a barley salad. Look at that. Gluten-free, low sugar, and vegan section. Cookie Arama. We're traveling, traveling, traveling. We're traveling like that. I think I'm doing a bang up job of finding my cabin. <laughs> Ooh, yay, it's off. Thank God and thank you, Jesus. Alrighty, clock has gone back another hour. This is crazy. Now, literally, we are elongating, extending every day of this cruise. <laughs> Fabulous. Alrighty, my lovely cabin steward has done my turn down. I've got me Cunard chocolate. I've got me breakfast in bed order. Might be doing something with that. What's this? Yes, exclusive cocktail party in the Queen's room tomorrow at 5.15 p.m. Hmm, I might go to that, you know. What a bloody lush I've become, eh? Another great day on board Queen Mary 2. I'm really, really loving this ship. Adore her and the staff as well. I've had some fantastic service today. The only slight critique from me would be um, our meal at Bamboo tonight. It was a good meal, but the thing with Chinese food is you don't want it to be too refined. You want a massive bowl of rice, a massive bowl of noodles, broth, you know, just give me a Chinese feast. It was all a little bit careful and dainty. Um, don't hate me for saying that. It was good food, okay? It was tasty, but it just, I don't know, I just felt like I needed something a bit more in your face, a bit more feasty, you know? Anyway, that's enough for me for now. It's time for Betty Boos. Mm -mm -mm, you ain't pooing in bed. Good night, my darlings, and don't forget, I really bloody love you, 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 not so sure about you. Good night. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. Another fabulous night's sleep, and the sea conditions are looking pretty good. It actually looks like it might be sunny out there. Oh my goodness, there's a knock at the door. Oh, I love me a Cunard breakfast delivered to my cabin. Would you look at this? Oh, fantastic. They've done my eggs over medium today. They were just a little bit on the runny side for me yesterday. Health, 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 darlings. Give me life, Joanna. Give me life, Joanna. Give me life, was Joanna. Cheers and good morning. I know I've got puffy eyes. It was a late one, again. Current location, folks. It still excites me to think we're going all the way over to America. <laughs> and get this, today we'll be sailing over the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. What do you mean, what is that? <laughs> it's actually a series of large undersea mountain ranges. Get me with my geographical knowledge. So apparently we can expect sudden changes in depths of the ocean. Ooh! Anywhere from 3.3 thousand feet in depth, which sounds a lot to me, to 11 and a half thousand feet. That's enough info, surely. Oh, blimey. Ah, windy, but sunny and mild. Oh, well, this is gorgeous. Sometimes you've just got to do a little bit of wandering to find a more sheltered spot. Right, let's have a pit stop at Sir Samuel's and have a look and see what is on the programme today. And back on the My Voyage webpage to see what's going on around the ship on this fine day. You may have noticed from yesterday's programme that there are two solo meets a day, one in the morning and one late afternoon. 
There's also a daily LGBTQ plus social hour in the Commodore Club. There's a clearly signed area of the Commodore Club put aside for that social. What would you get up to today if you were on this voyage? Matthew, if you're watching, can you please serve me coffee on a silver tray from now on at home in Basingstoke? Thank you very much. The iced coffee here is so good. I'm in heaven. Um, now, I have had a lot of questions online about the service on board. Um, I believe there may have been a few less than good reviews more recently. Well, I can only obviously go on my own experience. The service has been very strong so far. Um, I have not had to wait more than two or three minutes for anyone to come up to me and ask if I'd like a drink or anything else for that matter. There's also been a level of familiarity and friendliness with many of the staff as well, which um, I've really appreciated. In fact, the ladies behind me are getting the best service as well, by the way. The member of crew here is so, so lovely, smiley, friendly. It feels like um, a little bit of a family crew. It's just my experience, of course. Yours might be very different. A lot of questions online about how busy it is on board. Well, whilst all cabins have been sold on this particular voyage, there are so many spaces on board this ship. I've been able to get a seat all day, all evening, wherever I've been. I'd say one of the busiest venues is probably the Golden Lion Pub for lunch and also the Queen's Room for afternoon tea. Don't worry, I will be going at some point this week. I got you covered, I have. I am refraining from using the casino right now, folks. I could do of not hemorrhaging any more money. It's a fine looking casino though, I must say. It's got its own bar as well. I'm also refraining from drinking as you've seen. Well, this is quite unusual. There are two theatres on board. Illuminations for the planetarium and also some of the onboard uh, lectures. Suburban life in the different suburbs of New York in particular and America in general with the accents. And the Royal Court Theatre for your West End style productions. Are they West End style though? We'll be the judge of that, won't we, my loves? I do think the theatres on board look absolutely beautiful. Very nice indeed. It's so quiet, isn't it? I just feel like I'm always disturbing someone. Alrighty, folks, I am going to brave the King's Court buffet for my lunch today. Wish me luck. You know what? It's not too bad, actually. So let's have a little look at what's on offer this lunchtime. You've got all of your cold cuts. There's a carvery with stuffing, gravy, all your veggies, potatoes, there's more meat here, there's a bourguignon, veal liver, bacon onion gravy, haddock. We've got all sorts of stir fry here, vegetables, noodles, pork, rice, there's even a dim sum station here. There's a vegetarian and vegan section over here. Your usual salad items, boiled eggs, cheese, Pasta salads, coleslaw, couscous. There's a selection of cheeses, chutneys, freshly baked homemade bread selection. Oh wow, there's a sushi station. Fish and seafood. There's a cupcake station. Oh my God, that's what we're talking about. Fresh fruit. An assortment of tarts. I know all about those. Oh, strawberries and cream. There's a gluten-free, lactose-free, low-sugar dessert station. The old ice cream machine, just help yourself. Pear crumble and custard. I made it out of light. Veggie curry for me. And a big bowl of wholesome soul food dough. Very comforting dough, very nice. And this vegetable curry is the spiciest I've ever had in any buffet on any cruise line. It's blowing my head off. I love it. Okay, I am about to join the choir, but will I quit the choir? I'm very well known for quitting a choir, you know. Depends on the songs, you see. Anyway, through the gorgeous Queen's room we go. I believe the choir is taking place in the nightclub, like you do. I like the daffodils. I like 
the rolling hills. I haven't quit yet. Go me. Lovely. Warm up and cool down. Right, quick pit stop at the buffet for a regular coffee. All right, let's get thermal sweeten again. Yes. Oh, I wanted to point out there are accessible showers here as well. It is so nice being able to come in here whenever I want during the course of this cruise. I'm going to wait, sorry. In all seriousness, I could probably fall asleep quite happily in here if it weren't for the yada yada yada. And just like that, all freshened up and ready to head out. You can't keep up with me, can you? I know. There's no narrative to this vlog. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? I am heading to the cocktail reception because I am a gold loyalty tier member. Will we get a free cocktail though? I mean, that's why I'm going, let's be honest. Through the gallery. Now then, there's certainly a touch of, we need to talk about Kevin, about this. Mm-hmm. Well, slap me in the belly of a wet fist. There are a lot of loyalty tier members on Q9. Yes, babies, I've got me free bubbles. People everywhere with trays to drink. I'll have a little bit of that. We got the live band. Happy time, happy time. Where should I go? Thank you, Naomi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all? Awesome. And a special welcome to this uh, cocktail party held in your honor. But before I mm -hmm. continue, a special welcome to all those guests who avoided me and came to that door over there. <laughs> oh my so, God, that was so, me. That was absolutely yes, me. You can run, but you can't hide. I'll track you down before oh, you get no, to New York. Oh no, Back to our four ship fleet. Anyone cooked on Queen Anne? Uh -huh. well, I thought that was a very charming event actually and how amazing that you get canapes and bubbles as well. They did have non-alcoholic beverage as well just in case you're wondering. Uh, yeah, well worth a visit. You can also have your picture with a Capitan as you heard. I bypassed that line. Sorry Capitan, you are awesome though. Now then, I don't want you to think I'm odd or anything but at this stage in the voyage I'm starting to feel like things are very homely, very familiar, and I feel very, very comfortable on board, actually. And I know some of you are a little bit nervy about whether it's gonna be stuffy, very formal, uh, in comparison to some of your other cruises. Now listen, um, on a number of cruise lines, you can opt in and out, can't you, of formalities, and it's exactly the same on Cunard. I haven't once felt out of place yet. No, I'm not wearing a tie, no, I'm not wearing a jacket. You don't have to on smart attire nights. You don't. I mean, I'm just rocking it. I'm really rocking this week. <laughs> well, it's a bit lumpy out, as you can see. And as you would hope and maybe expect, I can't feel hardly any movement at all on Queen Mary 2. God bless her and all who vessel in her, eh? Whoa. I mean, I love me some rough seas, even if I can't feel it, I like looking at it. Someone has just posted on Facebook about the massive waves, the really rough seas and how everyone's feeling sick. Um, as you can see, it's definitely lumpy. It's rough seas, but the swell is quite short uh, and at our speed, we're literally dancing across these waves. We really are. And also, am I moving? No. Oh my goodness. I feel that we've got a Pied Piper in here. Welcome to the Corinthia Lounge. What a gorgeous menu, eh? Gorgeous. And welcome back to the Britannia restaurant. So you can actually um, reserve a slot for the Freedom Dining using the My Voyage non-app app, app webpage non-app. 
I think we're managing very well, actually. Okay, so I'm going to be totally honest with you. This isn't my favourite looking sounding menu. I don't know, I just find it not universally pleasing and not necessarily as much choice as I had hoped for. That's my honest opinion, but you know, let's see what the food is like. Thank you very much. Now then, Melissa Leeper, you had the inspired idea, didn't you? It was all yours. Yeah. If you're not sure what to have for an appetizer, ask for a small portion of an entree. And that's exactly what she's done. And I've done the same. I've gone with the um, vegetarian gnocchi dish, which is served with uh, brown hazelnut butter and roasted pumpkin. Alrighty, so the gnocchi was surprisingly good. And now it's time for the second appetizer, uh, French onion soup. Not sure about that crouton. It looks a bit soggy to me, but let's see, shall we? And now I've got the barley portobello mushroom and vegan cheese gratin, which is not like me at all. Okay, it looks a bit better now that I've actually tossed the salad properly, so to speak. Cheese plate, not board. It ain't a board. Um, the one thing I will say is that good number of crackers, big wad of blue stuff. It's all right, isn't it? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. A sticky toffee pudding. It's moist, it's dense, it's sweet. Did you hear that? It's moist, dense and moist, sweet. Dense Just and sweet. like me. me. <laughs> <laughs> it's pudding pour time. Pudding pour. I love the plate by the way. Can I take um, it home with me? What? Can I take the plate home with me? Oh really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Oh look it's 70s rewind in the Queen's room. Tin roo. Rusty. <laughs> it's karaoke night in G23. Lock up your sons, lock up your daughters, lock up your pets. Can I just congratulate Cunard on selling sugar free record on board? I love you for that so much. Here she goes. Bit of proud Mary. Proud Melissa. <laughs> we always do a nice. Ever. <laughs> oh, rolling, rolling oh, oh. <laughs> what we used to do. We put the extended version on. Hey honey, I'm home. Oh, what have we got here for our turn down? Oh, another bottle of Polacca. I wonder why I've got another bottle. I think it would be rude not to have breakfast in my cabin tomorrow again. Jamie Robino. It's gonna be an awesome breakfast and also thank you, Jesus. Mm. Goodbye, crew world. Okay, this is the Hindu song. You have got to think of that and guess what song I am singing and write the song for you. Ready? Happy, 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 another fab day at sea. I cannot believe I'm enjoying 
consecutive sea days. What's happened to me? This just feels like an absolute treat and an adventure at the same time. And I'm loving it. I really am. That is our halfway mark. This is the end of part one, but don't you worry, I'll be back very soon with all of this in part two. Coming up on Travel Blog Jamie. We voyage ever closer to the United States. Better weather on the horizon, Commodore Club and cocktails. Dinner at the chef's galley. Strictly not ballroom dancing. Breakfast at the buffet. Crazy strong winds. Lunch at the Corinthia Lounge. The all famous Cunard afternoon tea. My first ever masquerade ball. Speciality Italian dining at La Piazza. A beautiful last day at sea. Speciality steakhouse dining for lunch at the veranda. Some pack-in tips for you. The disembarkation process. The most silent, silent disco I've ever been to. One final dinner, but more room service. We finally make it to the USA. Ritualistic farewells. A fantastic sailing to New York. And yes, of course I got emotional. You didn't expect anything else, did you? Disembarkation and my transfer to Manhattan for my overnight stay. I'll see you then. And don't forget, I love... Uh, I love all of you. Oh, not you. Good night. See you in part two. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much as we head towards 29,000 subscribers. It's madness. As ever, today's shout outs go to my tiers three, four and five patrons. And oh my goodness gracious me, folks, you too could become a patron. Oh yes, that's right. By searching patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. It really is that simple, just like me. And a special shout out to my tier five patrons, Steph, Ryan, The Dudies, Coops and Mark, Melissa and Catherine, Tara, Cindy, Graham and Elaine. Thanks for watching and don't forget we can follow each other on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins and also over on X, Instagram and threads at Travel Blog Jamie. And of course, right here, right now on YouTube.